Are you ready to test some of the weirdest fidget toys out there with me? Of course you are. Today we have a total of 12 different weird and unique fidget toys. Some of these were some that I found at a local bookstore, so it was really interesting to find them there, and others were sent to me by none other than the viral Mrs. Bench. And Mrs. Bench specializes in curating some of the most unique and weird fidget toys out there, and even fidget toy mystery boxes. As someone with ADHD, I definitely like to get my hands on new things, and it's, it's, if they're obnoxious, they, 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 they get bonus points, what do you want from me? <laughs> I have to say I am quite excited about this one. This is water. Water slime. It's it's basically like water. It even has Evian written on top of it. I'm pretty sure they don't want that on there, but it's on there. Let me know in the comment section below what is the weirdest fidget toy you have ever fidgeted with. And to help my video in this YouTube universe, please remember to leave a like. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications which will make you a grain of salt in the salt shaker family. Welcome home. Oh, this? Oh, j j don't, don't worry about it. It's just a sharp, pointy thing. That's how we say hello. <coughs> now, generally speaking, I am not a slime type person, but look at that. We have peanut butter, we have jelly, and we even have marshmallows. So I'm, I'm just excited about everything on this desk. Just, just move everything over to the other side. Just As always, I will be rating these fidget toys from a rating of 0 to 10. 10 being something that I absolutely love to fidget with and I think is worth looking into. And we're gonna start off with mac and cheese. Yes, macaroni and cheese. The delicious gooeyness of fake orange cheese and soft and warm and just absolutely delicious. But apparently they decided that it would be interesting to make it as a fidget toy. This definitely caught my attention at the bookstore just because of the fact that they are kind of hollow noodles. And it does say mac and squeeze, so it's not mac and cheese. I kind of, kind of lied here. <laughs> and then the rest of the box basically shows us how we can use them. So we can squish them, which of course, we can stack them. Oh, interesting. So they do hold themselves. Okay, we're gonna have to try that. And of course, more squishing and you can wear them. I'm curious to see how else we can actually fidget with them, but okay. Let's give these a try. All right, so first impressions. These are really colorful, absolutely adorable, and oh my god, I got goosebumps. These are soft. They're definitely a silicon type material. The best way I can describe these is the softest part of a steering wheel, if that makes sense. Or even a mochi fidget toy, but without all of that gooeyness. But it is a little powdery, so keep that in mind if you don't like powdery texture. Okay, let's see how that goes. How stretchy is it? Oh, quite stretchy. And yeah, you could put your finger on the inside. Oh, I feel like we could probably get it to toot. Hang on. No. Oh, that is... Can we get you to toot? Kind of. Not quite, just make it squish. This does feel good, but I can tell you that the powderiness is coming off in my finger. So let's see if they stack. Put the actual macaroni and cheese one. Let's put this one. Okay, next one. Okay, not too bad. Don't fall. And the next one. Oh, oh, that is not stacking. Hang on. You know what? This is probably a game of skills and I shall not be defeated. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we have this, we have Oh, no, no. Come on, blue. You know what? Maybe blue needs to be at the bottom. Let's put blue at the bottom because it's the most shaky. Okay. No. Nope. Why is this? No. Don't. Hang on. Maybe I can stack and balance it this way. Don't lie to me. Hang on. Okay, this is stable. This is definitely stable. Now the question is, why is it that putting a third one? Oh, okay. It's the green, isn't it? Come on. I don't think this is stackable beyond three, but I mean, it is getting me fidgeting. <laughs> and it is keeping me busy, but it is not stacking beyond three. I might, I might have to do that on my free time. And I'm guessing I could probably put this in here, like a so, and just make my own little fidget, what's it called, chain. Look at that. Hello, I am just walking around. I'm a fidget. <laughs> okay, okay, these are fun. As basic as these look, hello? hello. The echoes there. As basic as these look, these are pretty fun to stretch around and play with, despite the fact that this is really basic. I'm going to give these a solid 8.2. These are fun. They're basic, but there's something about them. Let the shrimp 
Okay, I'm not gonna choose anymore. I'm just gonna go in and take what we have. Next is a Crystal Needle. Now, this is a brand that is known a little bit of everywhere. They have so many different kinds of squeeze type fidget toys. And this was $5. Let's see why I picked this one. I just used my sharp pointy thing. What the heck? Oh, I cut the other side. You saw nothing. nothing. And here it is. Oh, this one's really pretty. I think that's what caught my attention. Oh my god. We have iridescent foil on the inside. I wonder if it's going to make a crunchy sound. No, it doesn't make a sound, but it definitely feels... Here, let me show you grades. It definitely feels a slight bit of crunchy when you're squeezing it. Not too much. But here it is. That is really, really pretty. The only issue with these kinds of fidget toys is that they do end up breaking after a few weeks. So keep that in mind. Look at that. That is really pretty though. But because they don't tend to live for a long time, I'm going to say that this is going to get a 5 on 10 for me. Yes, it's fun. Yes, it's cute. But funness level is, again, a 5 on 10 for me. Prettiness though is a 10 on 10. Durability, 2 on 10. It's just all over the place. What are you doing, sharp pointy thing? Get out of here. And then, yeah, I have no idea what these are. So this is a yummer. So it's kind of like a summer looking type of popsicle. It says smushy and stretchy. Now I'm wondering if this is more of a clay or if it's a slime, I'm not sure. Because we don't have anything to actually store it in. So I'm really curious what it is. I love the packaging. It says yummers with two little popsicle characters on the side over here. It says it's a putty. Twirl and twist, mix it up. Was it gonna smell good? Not a food, do not eat. Don't tell me what to do, don't eat it. Don't tell me what to do though. I really hope it smells good. Smushy and stretchy, we can also bounce it. But if it doesn't smell good, clearly it, we're not gonna eat it. But it is not toxic just in case. <laughs> just saying, just in case you do numb, you're gonna come, come, come like that. Just in case it's not toxic. <laughs> Okay, let's see what you are. And do we need to store you? Do we actually need to store you? No, we do not. Okay, let's see, yummers. And here it is. Okay, how do I get you out? Hello? Hello? We're gonna need some help. I have no idea how we're gonna get this out, so we're just gonna start using the scissors. Okay, there we go. That is disappointing. Oh, come on, Jaru. So I thought we'd get some kind of grape scented or some kind of berry scent, but no. If you're gonna call something yummers, it has to smell yummy. Do we understand each other here? If it's gonna be yummy, it has to smell yummy. This is dangerous. This is like shards of plastic. Because otherwise, you're just selling the shape. I don't care about the shape, especially with the fact that the shape is meant to be absolutely distorted. So let's pull this out and it feels like foam texture. And there's a little piece here. So here's what it looks like. And it's supposed to look like a popsicle, but the whole point is to smush it. So, oh, let's listen to that. That absolutely sounds squishy. I love this. But other than that, it just becomes a putty where you mix up the colors. Nothing too interesting after that fact. Does it still sound anything? No, nope, not after the initial smush. There's no more sound. Listen. Nope. I'm gonna give this probably a 4 on 10. Doesn't smell good. And oh, it smells like vinegar though. <coughs> I will not eat it. Maybe though, make it berry or grape or something. Next we have a hairball fidget toy. This one definitely caught my attention just because I have no idea what's going on. I know there's a cat with a big mouth, kind of reminds me of Kirby. And it looks like it is a fidget shooting toy. And we get three different colors of hairballs. The drawing is absolutely adorable though. And this one cost me $7.99 at the local bookstore. All right, let's see what this kitty cat is all about. All right, oh my God. Oh, oh, that is that tongue flicker. Wow. It has quite a bit of power. I did not expect that to come out this way, which means that it's going to definitely puke out those hairballs quite efficiently, I think. Let's get a closer look at our kitty cat. The whiskers are not colored in, which I would have loved if they were. And that's basically what it looks like. It is a soft silicone. <laughs> that's hilarious. And we do get three fluffy balls. So let's try it with the blue one. How much do I have to push you in? Like that is, that is substantial pushing. 
Okay, let's try. And the answer is... Oh, that is not much. Let me look at the box again. Okay, so it seems like we need to add it really on the inside of the mouth, like in here. You ready? Oh, that is a good push. All right, let's try the next one. Let's push it all the way here and squeeze. Well, that didn't push too hard. I think we need a little bit more confidence. Ready? Yeah, that was good. That was really good. My biggest complaint with these is the fact that they are not attached in any way whatsoever. So you kind of have to run around and try and pick them up again. So let's try the blue one again and push. Yeah, that was good. Green. Yeah, now we're getting the hang of it. You need the confidence. You need to just squeeze the kit. Actually, you know what? Let's do it to the camera. Oh no, I'm kind of scared. Let's do it. Oh, that was good. Now it's gone. I will definitely not find this again. So yeah. So despite the fact that this is cute, I'm going to give it a rating of 6 on 10. Just because it's kind of inconvenient when it comes to fidgeting. Obnoxious? Yes. Inconvenient? Also yes. And let's go with something a little softer. We have the Berry Bliss Whipped Slime. In a previous video, we did the Nutella version of this, and it was absolutely divine. It smelled exactly like a chocolate spread. So I'm really curious to see this one, because I think it's from the same brand, I want to say. I'm hoping. Again, this was sent to me by Mrs. Bench. So let's see. And look at the packaging here. We have have a cute little strawberry. It says gooey and stretchy. It's scented. We like to see that, unlike the other yummies. Even though it is the same company. So y'all know how to make scented things. Why did you break up my heart? Why did you make them cry and everything is all rainy? It's so rainy. Oh my god. Look at the whole screen is just filling up with water. Oh, that is cute. It actually has Nutri Fun Facts, so 100% total fun, deliciously scented 25, smooshy gooey 60, twisty and stretchy 10, sticky tacky tastic 5%. Not a gum, do not eat or chew. Okay, do not eat. Okay, and you have to store it in a jar, which is good. All right, very nice. So it is sealed. We just broke the seal. I am so excited for this. Okay, ready? <laughs> it smells like strawberry ice cream like a strawberry milkshake ice cream. Oh, that is divine. Okay, let's see the texture. Oh, that is good texture. I do tend to like my slimes a little bit more firm, so this one works for me. Here it is. Yeah, I like that. I know some of y'all like it more gooey. Don't worry, we're gonna get to that. I'm wondering, yeah, that is, it is definitely cold in Canada, but oh my God, oh, it smells good. Does my hand smell good? Yes. Oh, that is deliciously smelling good. Of course, slime is a fidget toy. Do I fidget with slime? Not unless I'm on a phone call and then I'm just cleaning my laptop or, you know, while I'm waiting during the phone call. So yeah, I do use it to fidget and clean because it removes dust pretty good. But yeah, other than that, this is what it does. It needs to warm up a little bit because my room is cold. Look at that. There you go. That is a stretch and a half. Voila. I'm going to rank this for smell a 10 on 10. And for fidget, I think I'm going to give it a base of seven because the texture really does depend on each person. Next we have peanut butter. I guess peanut butter will depend on whether or not you are allergic to peanut butter or not, but I've always loved the smell and taste of peanut butter. So let's see how close this one gets. And the drawings are absolutely adorable. Let's see what this one says. We have it scented, smushy gooiness, twisty and stretchy, sticky-tastic. And it does say only use as directed and it is not food. Does it say scented though? Yes, it is scented. So we do have confirmation that it is scented. So it best smell like a good peanut butter. Otherwise I'll be very upset. All right, let's see what you have to offer us. Okay, nicely sealed, very good. Wow, that is, that is the challenge. <laughs> Alright, well clearly this is gonna have to take some extra effort. Let's get this open with sharp pointy thing. Like uh, so. Oh, oh, the texture's different too. Alright, let's check it out. So it definitely looks a little bit more like peanut butter. Let's give it a good sniff. <laughs> oh. Oh, it has this like thick smell of peanuts. If you're looking for something that smells like peanuts, this is definitely it. It smells like crushed peanuts when you're having a sundae. Here's the texture. It's very similar to the previous kinds of slime from this company, which is kind of firm. 
There you go. But it just needs to be warmed up to be used properly because it is cold here in Canada at this time. But here's what it looks like. Look at that stretch. One of the things that could make this even more fun is if you have some inclusions that could make it a crunchy type peanut, you can go for it. I absolutely despise crunchy peanut, but as a texture for slime, it could be good. Oh my God, it does smell like peanut butter. Yeah, it just needs to warm up a little bit more. A few minutes later. And here it is warmed up just a little bit. And you can see that there is stretch for miles. There it is. It's getting warmed up. So you just have to spend a little time warming it up, which is great because most slimes end up separating after a period of time. But this has not separated. And I've had it for a couple of months and I didn't even open it. And let's put you back in here. I would have to say as a scent, I'm going to give this probably a solid eight on 10. And for fidgeting purposes, I'm going to give it a base of seven, like all slimes for me. And now for the marshmallow scented one. I absolutely love marshmallow, especially when it's burnt on the fire, when you're in the fire pit for campfires. <laughs> I just love marshmallow. I won't eat them plain, but obviously when they're roasted, they're absolutely delicious. Roasted, fired, burnt. <laughs> and here it's a whipped slime. The marshmallows look absolutely adorable. Look at them just playing, licking over here. We do have Nutri Fun Facts. Very, very nice of you to add these. We have scented, gushy, stretchy, and stickiness. And I have to say that this company is pretty precise. These slimes are not sticky, which is absolutely phenomenal. I don't like the ones that just stick everywhere. And are you, it says do not eat. Are you scented? It is scented. Good, then it is worth our time. Let's go ahead and open you up. Please open proper. Please open. Oh, oh. Okay, sniff test. Hello? It has a faint vanilla smell, which I get. Part of me wishes this were more of a toasted marshmallow kind of scent. So the slime is pretty slick and it has the same texture that this company always does. Here it is. Very nice and fluffy and stretchy. Very nice. But the scent is more of a very light vanilla. It would have been good if it was like Rice crispy treat. I think that would have nailed it even more. So for me, we're gonna go through this real quick. Scent wise for this, I'm going to give it probably three on 10. Texture wise, same as every slime for me, seven on 10. Now these have been on my radar for the longest time ever. I've seen these everywhere. Everyone's been tagging me on them, whether it be on YouTube shorts or on TikTok, and I've never tried them. But the concept of these is that you're supposed to use these things to dig and apparently there's some real prizes you can get real gold you can get some kind of precious stones I don't know but they should be fun to dig and this one is called get diggity with gold that is so corny oh my god and we get a paddle and some kind of brush we have a brick of gold and it does say that one in 25 I think and this cost me $8.99 but it says we can get I'm gonna massacre these names correct me in the pronunciation in the comment section pyrite rainbow stone onyx and gold so one in 24 blocks will give us actual gold now I'm pretty sure it's not going to be worth anything even if it is real gold but I mean it could be interesting let me know in the comments if you've tried these and if you've gotten anything interesting from them all right so let's try this out I'm sure there's a technique to this and everyone's gonna be yelling at me in the comments so feel free to yell at me but as a fidget toy, I'm actually curious if it is interesting to fidget on or if I'm just going to want to put it in water and get it over with. So let's see if it's good as a fidget toy too. Oh, look at that. The tools we get are a scoopy and a brush. And here's our gold bar. I don't want a mess though. Here you go. All right, so let's get you opened up. I wonder what the texture, it feels like it's going to be just grainy sand. Can you, can you not be difficult to open please? There you go. Well, that is dusty. Clearly dusty. Oh my god. Let me know your prediction in the comment section. What am I gonna get? Do I just do this? What do I do? Oh, I see. So we just have to... Okay, push. Maybe? No. Pokies? I don't know how I feel about this. Part of me just wants to break through. Can you? No. You can't just break through. Oh goodness. You know what? This is a good fidget toy. Is it for me? Probably not. Because I feel like I just want to dig. Oh, there we go. We got through the surface. Oh, this is better now. Oh, this is way better. Okay, once you get past the hard shell on top, it's actually more fun to dig on the inside. So, can I use my knife? Let's see if we can do that. You know what? This is more satisfying. I like this. 
Oh, I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna keep digging until I get to something. A few minutes later. All right, so we didn't have to dig too far, but it looks like we have something over here. Can I just, oh, I can break it. Okay, I think this is probably going to be the pyrite. Let's see if we can get you out. Yeah, taking bigger chunks with this is way more interesting. And it sounds better too. I don't know if this is a precious stone or if it's just absolutely useless, but I have it now. Well, that is really wedged in there. Oh, there you go. Looks like a piece of chocolate. All right, here it is. Let me go wash it real quick. I have to admit, I have no idea what stone this is. There are some vertical, diagonalish type lines to it, but it doesn't look like any of the ones we actually got. So it's definitely not gold. It could be rainbow, but I don't see anything rainbow. It could be onyx maybe. I don't think it's pyrite. So let me know in the comments, what do you think it is? But I'm going to give this activity maybe a six on 10. Now in a similar concept, we have a farm animal dig it. I don't, these are such weird fidget toys. I don't know, I don't know anymore. <laughs> This was $3.99, but it looks like in the same way that we had a gold bar, now we have a barn. So let's see what kind of animal we can find on the inside. So let's pull this out. Okay, interesting. How do I describe this texture? It almost feels soapy, but not quite. It's very soft feeling. Doesn't smell like anything. And what do we have on the inside? Okay, we have a chisel type tool. And is this going to tell us what animals we get? And the answer is, oh, oh, oh my God, so many animals. We could get a pig, a cow, a donkey. Oh, I want the donkey. A horse, chickens. I'm okay with chickens too. I'm okay with goats. I'm okay with sheep. Nah, for dog. I'm okay for cat. I'm okay for duck. Let me know which one you would have wanted. All right, let's see which one we're actually going to get. Again, I'm okay with donkey, chicken, goat, cat, duck. And I don't want to mess. All right, here's the barn. And let's see what kind of chisel we have here. It's going to be hard. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Ah, <laughs> don't push too hard. What the heck? Oh, that is really hard to push. Yeah, that is unpleasant. I don't think I like this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is tough. I thought this would be as soft as it feels, but the answer is no. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, come on. Okay, this is really going somewhere very slowly. Let's try with the sharp pointy thing. And can we do better? Okay, kind of, somewhat. These activities feel better always with a knife, but I guess they can't sell it with a knife. All right, I'm gonna keep digging until we see something. I have to admit, my hands are starting to hurt real bad. Look at that, you can see the parts where I'm trying to hold this thing to try and get it open, but we finally see something. And I can't say that this activity is pleasant at all. At least if they have given us maybe something more comfortable to hold, maybe, but I absolutely hate this. I can see gray though. I hate this so much. <laughs> this feels like doing homework. Again, this thing was such a huge trend online. I don't understand people who were doing like 20 of them in a row. I'm pretty sure they were melting it down in water. I hate this. I hate this so much right now. Do I have regrets? Absolutely. I'm gonna keep digging to see what that gray animal is, but in no universe, to me, is this worth sitting down here in pain trying to get this figurine out? It best be cute though. I swear, this character better be cute at least. I think it's a horse. I think we're getting a little closer here. Let me use the brush from the other kit but I'm pretty sure this is a horse. I don't think it's a donkey. So let's see if we can get this little thing out. Come on, come on. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I hate this so much. Eventually. Okay, I have to say, I did wet this a little bit according to the instructions, but this is a horse, clearly. Is he cute? No, I have to say the horse even looks a little stressed too. And I just don't wanna continue this. I'm done. I think I think these kinds of fidget toys or excavations for me are just more pain than fun. So I'm just going to rate this probably an activity as a two on 10 for me. My hands are really hurting, oh my God. You know what, let's go with something soft, an octopus. What was this one again? Why did I pick this up? Squishy Pals, is this any different? But did I pick it up because it was cute? Oh, it was crunchier. Listen to that. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, this is definitely overpacked. But listen to that sound. Yeah, that is definitely fun to squish. Oh, that feels good. There's not much to say about this other than the fact that it does feel nice. It's easy to squish and feels and sounds good. It even feels good doing this, pushing it out, putting your finger here and letting it absorb back. 
gonna give it a solid 7.8 fidget activity. But remember, these things are not durable. They may last maybe three to four weeks in six if you're lucky. Similarly to the cat one that we did earlier, this one is called Nido Booper. And it also has some fluffy little ball things. And then we can pull this to make a projectile kind of thing. It says load, launch, and laugh. I'm sure the one who's launching is laughing, but not the one receiving. <laughs> Launch your boops across the room, the super duper booper bopper. That's actually fun to say. <laughs> so we have four fuzzy boops. All right, let's see how well that works. So basically what we have to do is load up to three at once. Interesting, gently pull back and then let go to see it. All right, do its thing. It says avoid stuffing, try not to squeeze too hard. Okay, a little goes a long way. So we don't need to be extra aggressive. Good to know. Okay, weird, it's sticky. Not sure how I feel about this. So here it is, it does feel like a mochi type character. It's kind of on the sticky side. Not too sticky, but a little sticky. Kind of like the fidget balls that you throw on the ceiling, but not as sticky. Again, it, it's reminiscent of it. We get to say, I guess like this. Okay, they say a little goes a long way. So let's take one. <laughs> that did not go in. Let's put this in. Okay, and let's give it a try. I'm gonna hold it here and pull. Hello? Nope. Oh, there you go. So you're not supposed to put it too far in. I think something like this. That was sad. Here. Okay, the white does not show on my surface. Let's try blue. It's kind of annoying. Let's try again. Let's put the pink one here and go. Uh, yeah, definitely not worth the money. This one again was from my public library. I don't think it's worth it. I think the cat is definitely way more interesting. So if you're in between this one and the cat, go for the cat. This one's gonna get um, a two on 10 for me. It's just meh and the stickiness, it's, it's weird. Actually, you know what? It does say to put up to three in there. So let's go ahead and put three. I'm not stuffing it, okay? And let's pull and do the thing. There's the yellow, there's the pink, and there's the blue. Yeah, it's meh. Nothing. Let's not try to catch heavy things. I'm actually pretty excited about the water slime. Just look at it over here, how watery this looks. And it's supposed to be really kind of acting like water, but a solid at the same time. So really cool. And I've never played with water slime before. And the fact that it looks like a water jug or a water bottle makes it even more cute. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played with water slime and let me know if this is actually close to water slime or if the texture or the way it behaves is a little off. All right, let's open this. How do I open you? Oh, okay, I think that was that was just a gimmick area. Oh, oh my God, please don't be sticky. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, oh my God. Okay, hang on, let's take a little out. That is not sticky. That is so weird. That is so weird. I'm gonna pull a little bit out. That is so weird. Oh my gosh. No, this feels and behaves like water. And there's no weird stickiness to it. What the heck? Look at this. No, get out of here. This is fun. You know what? This is probably one of my favorite types of slime now. Look at it. It behaves just like water. Look at that, but in solid form. Oh my God. This is cute. This I like, this I like a lot. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna entertain this too much because I am absolutely in love. I always love putting my hand in water and just kind of like feeling the water. And this behaves just like it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give this a very biased score here. Oh my God. And it's, it's gonna get a solid nine on 10 for me. Now the question is, if I put another piece on it, what's it gonna do? Not melt. I guess you have to kind of like move them in together. Yep. There you go. This is excellent. Will you go in the water easily though? <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. There you go. It's in there. I liked it. I quite liked it. Let me know in the comment section below which one of these is your favorite. Oddly enough, I'm going to say that my favorites have to be between the macaroni and cheese type and the water slime. I'm really curious to know which ones are your favorites. If you want to watch more fidget toy reviews, make sure you check up here. If you want to watch me do miniature cooking, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.